Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video about how I set up my NetDuma R1 uh, gaming router for Black Ops Cold War. And I guess this is probably the same for the R2. They all use the Duma OS software now, don't they? Um, now obviously what you want to do is you want to go through and follow the follow all the instructions that come with your with your router and get, get it set up so your internet's working first. Um, for you know all the wireless devices and your wired devices um, and you know it probably should go without saying that you should have your PlayStation or, or your Xbox or your PC even plugged directly into your router <laughs> to maximize uh, the or minimize the, uh, the the lag that is happening um, um, and then I guess the two well we'll look at the QoS we'll look at quality of service first and I just do it very, very simply. I just give everything. There's four things, so 25% each. For some reason, it, I've got two Rob's PCs here, two laptops, but I think one is the wireless connection and, and one is the wired connection. But I just give them all equal, um, and then what happens is the, the software gives uh, excess bandwidth to, to the particular device, so, for example, the PlayStation or the Xbox. But where the real magic happens, where you should really uh, concentrate your... Your, your thoughts is in the geo filter so the geo filter is basically this is why you get a net um gaming router and what the net, what the geo filter filter does is that it prevents you from connecting to a game that is too far away where you'll have too much lag so for example i'm here in the uk um, so the net Duma router will stop will prevent me from connecting to say a game down in in Italy where there would be lots of lag I, my bullets wouldn't hit and I would generally have a bad experience and you'll know probably that the way that they kind of recommend you set it up is you set your home location and then you set your distance like something like this and what will then do is the game will the, the router will only let black ops connect me somewhere within here however I don't think that's the best way of doing it the best way of doing it I think and and this goes for whether you're in Europe or North America or anywhere in the world. What you do is you take your home icon and you dump it in the middle of the Atlantic <laughs> like that. And you, you set the distance down to the minimum amount. And you think, well, wait a minute, is there, is there like an oil rig out here or something you're going to connect to? No, because what we do is we open up the options here. And what you do is you have strict mode and auto ping host ticked. And you use ping assist. So what ping assist is, it says as long as the, a server that it wants to attach, um, uh, a server that the, the game wants you to, to join, um, as long as it's at least 30, um, a maximum of 30 milliseconds, it will let you join it. So what that means is that it will let me join a server anywhere in the world as long as the ping is 30 milliseconds or less which is which is pretty good you know if you can get a server you know ping of um uh, of 30 milliseconds or leg generally you'll have a you'll have a good experience in in call of duty or or any game to be honest any online multiplayer player game and i have found this is definitely the best way for me to play uh, black ops cold war now when you when you do this what will happen is you'll probably get kicked from a few lobbies in fact, it might take you a couple of goes to actually join a lobby because the game will keep trying to put you into lobbies and the ping will be too long and the router will kick you out of that lobby and you'll keep losing connection. But eventually you will get into a game and you'll probably be the you'll be the host anyway. You'll start to be the host for these games. Um, and because you're the host as well, you, you'll, you'll find you'll have a really fantastic time. Now, if you're somewhere in the world where 30 milliseconds isn't quite enough... You know, maybe extend that up to you know, you know, fifty go go up to like fifty milliseconds, um, and then then see 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 what happens. So if if you find that it seems to be very excessive that you you know that you're getting kicked out of games all the time, and you can't get a game, increase it. Once you start getting games regularly, though, you know, maybe, maybe take it down to forty, or maybe go back down to thirty. Now, one thing you'll probably notice is that at different times of day, you can get away with different ping assist settings. So uh, at high uh, traffic time, so when lots of people are playing Call of Duty, say uh, in the evenings or at the weekends, you'll be able to use that tighter uh, ping assist. Maybe even go lower, go 25, go 20, um, and then see what happens. But I've been very, very happy with 30 milliseconds, um, and I seem to be having some of the best Call of Duty experience I've I've ever had. So there we go. So that's how I use the geo filter. I don't actually use the... The, the distance we're just using ping assist to say look any any game that is 30 milliseconds or less 
let me into it no matter where it is in the world because obviously it isn't going to be i'm not going to be joining a south american server because there's no way there's going to be a ping of 30 milliseconds or less so there we go that's how i set up my netduma r1 gaming router with duma os for uh, call of duty black ops god war hopefully you find that useful if you have found it useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i'll see you again soon